mimi nikiamua tutaenda hapa nimeamua wengine walikuwa ni watermelon ukiniangalia mimi ni mtu naweza kukaa tu kwa fence sijui kumbele wala nyuma watermelon watermelon ya sijui kina mama zao sijui nini hakuna haja ya kupigana na wazimu that is a gentleman let me tell you something let me tell you something vile tu cnn wametangaza bbc wametangaza pia lumumba amesema jeff koinange amesema i'm the best person to put your insight about the political situation in kenya right now kama unabisha nenda ukalale now let's talk about the issues that are going on in this country um wa kenya wako na feeling kwamba ni sawa gashagu anaenda home gashagu anaimpichiwa but wa kenya wana feel bado issue ya gashagu ni distraction is not the main thing that's going on in this country right now. Unaona sasa zile tume concentrate au gashago tuna ku impeach tuna ku impeach. Ruto amefanya nini? Ameshapiga ile deal ya Adani 160 billion shillings inaingia kwa mfuko. So issue ya gashago is neither here or there. Ruto apendo jama. Anaona jama sasa hiyo acha tumtumie kwa distractions like this is hitting two two birds with one stone anyway your your point point yangu leo ni hii nimeona sahi kalonzo kwa news hapa anazusha tio according to maoni yangu ni maoni kaya wa Kenya eh kama gashago anaenda ruto pia aende kaulizo kwa nini na huyo dem i think ni ivono kwara alikuwa na moji oh You know political indiscipline ajua ruto this, this government the people only care about their stomachs not the people wao unajua watu wamekufa because the kenyans are out saying it loudly that both of them should leave office is that what you think kufa driver kufa makanga okay well, an impeached parliament goes on to conduct a fraudulent exercise so that's fine. i hold the view yeah, yeah. and, and, and both of them to, should go home both of them should go home yes and i make sense and i make point na hiyo ndio kitu wa Kenya wote wanasema na tuna agree na yeye lakini Kalonzo is not the person or the best messenger to deliver that message at this moment or in the near future Wana kumbuka ile time ile time um, Kibaki was running against Raila Unakumbuka sijui ni 2012 or something like that Kibaki versus Raila Previously to Paul Rajwa Kalonzo was in orange na ende alikuwa the deputy vice president hiyo time alikuwa na deputy alikuwa vice yende alikuwa vice president running with Raila in the first time eh, ni Raila alikuwa na run then when it came a time Raila was running against Kibaki. Kalonzo ndio ikampatia tag ya watermelon. Akaanza ku flip flop. Usiku anapatana na Raila, mchana anapatana na Kibaki. As Vice President Kalonzo Musyoka attended the burial of former DC Daudi Ekwam, the spotlight on him was about a deal he is alleged to have cut with President Mwai Kibaki way before the last general election. The revelations are contained in a book titled Politics of Betrayal authored by former Bahari MP Joe Khamisi. Usiku hapa na Raila mchana hapa na Kibaki. And yet your time the country was so much polarized my guy. The country was so much polarized. Yaani ilikuwa yani tu kitu kidogo tu cut vita fujo inaanza watu wanaanza kumwaga damu and that's what happened because Kalonzo with Raila on one ticket it was a clear win na kuge kuwa na noma but now it's not a rumor that Kalonzo alikuwa na meet na Kibaki usiku ana negotiate niaje utanipatia pesa ngapi ni kwe vice president wako because like ile ile vote ya kampani ndio ilikuwa the decide the deciding factor ya your, your, your election so usiku Kalonzo na Kibaki niaje 
And now, Muthama is quoted in a local daily, the Star newspaper, as accusing President Kibaki of betraying his VP, Musyoka. In the newspaper article, Muthama claims President Kibaki has allegedly not kept his word on a written agreement he is said to have signed in January 2008 at the height of the post poll chaos. The said memorandum of understanding would see Musyoka become vice president in exchange for Kibaki's endorsement as his successor come 2012. Jana a man Ranabaga describes in an earlier cable release as, quote, though Musyoka presents himself as a born-again Christian with the purest of political intentions, keen observers see Musyoka as largely an opportunist interested primarily in advancing his political ambitions, end quote. The vice president said to have opposed the option of having the president share power with Raila Odinga. Kalonzo is also said to have confided to the envoy about his plans for 2012, indicating that his reasons for accepting the vice president's position after the disputed polls was the assurance by both President Moi Kibaki and the soon-to-be Deputy Prime Minister Uhuru Kenyatta that they would support him as candidate for the presidency in 2012, since Kenyans would not opt for a candidate of the same community as the current president come 2012. Kalonzo is said to have claimed that if Raila were to be elected, he would become another Hugo Chavez, the Venezuelan president, owing to his apparent socialist inclinations. The vice president is finally, according to an early release cable, said to have sought the intervention of the then U.S. President George Bush to urge Kibaki to step aside in the 2007 presidential race, what would have left him as the preferred candidate against Prime Minister Raila Odinga in what he says would have been his, quote, Hail Mary Pass. Unquote. You see, Saya Kwapa Iviana Sema, Sujiu Ruto and Raila, they are just thinking about their stomachs. I mean, so how? Yeah, they are doing is a call Norma, Ile post election violence, and the wife were witnessed in Kenya before. Ile and you let a handshake your Uruna make you back your post election. What one as a how when you are a babish your post election, who you call on the one you are a different saint side. So Kalanzo, when when men are speaking, when the rushes <laughs> are speaking, please shut up. Wakenya uko valuksa abuna jifanyanga mpole ni kama ushkanishi vitu. But we know about you. We know the whole lot of you. You are the same people. That's why we are Kenyans are hanging on a you know uh, on a hanging you know leaves branches. That's why on any or to mediocre class you can come or Kenya on and now because to make a desperation point in Guinea anything goes but not this people in your to make one hour over time. Yani say what Kenya can clutch on anything. No, I know that some will like it okay. What Kenya on them support Morara or Kenya on them support you let them all. Mkale ule anetu nani ule mwenye alibiwa na kina mandago. Aki, aki, yani kitu yote kiji present na, na wakenya wana ni kama ina make sense. We support it. We don't care. Sayi hata dogi kia muka isemi mina taka kukua kuvai for presidency against uh, Samoei. Wakenya wata support. Because Kenyans are tired of the status quo. Kenyans are tired of these old guards. Kuna siku, kuna siku, ilikuwa na mbezi tezangu, tuna watch TV. Nani kuna, sijui ilikuwa kina muafrika, podcast ya kina muafrika, something. Kama si kina muafrika ni, ni check, check, checkmate. Eh. Walikuwa na unga ya kusu politics hafu wa karanile, kuna kwa gana na picha enye. Awa, awa ma politicians wa kubo wate wana kwa gawa mekapa moja kwa doc. Najua doc, pale kotini pale. Sijini nini wakua mefanya ase. Abo kwa doku kuna Ruto, kuna Raila, kuna Uru, kuna Mudavadi. I think kukwadi na kibaki. Wakua meka hapo. And then hapo, <laughs> hapo chini meandikuwa. Eh, all our problems in one, in one picture. The first comment nikiona hiyo chini hiyo picture. Ilikuwe kuna msesti ya naituwa na ito nani. Sijui ilikuwa ukijana kiereore uru uyu sabato sabato. Ameandika hapo. The judge only, the judge had only one job. <laughs> Yenye ngefunga hatu life sentence, life in prison. Kenya ingebaki na, na peace. 
then to move on to as fresh. Anyway, what am I trying to say? The message is out there. But as much as the message is out there, we need proper messengers to let to deliver this message. Somehow, there are new cuts. Watch out to your message. Watch out to as much as to the sellout in Trajuzi. Watch out to your message. I'm scared. Like, I don't know how to Kalonzo and such people. No, 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 no. We don't want that. We don't want that. We are tired. I want to move on. This relationship has been toxic for so long. It's time to move on. I'm going to say, Kunta Kinte.